Hey guys, I'm Sharon from Scala Studio. So today I have a bunch of tutorials. So this bunch of animation loop tutorials. So we are going to be creating some pattern animations like these in today's tutorial. So you guys can check them out in my Instagram and uh, you guys can make them yourself after watching this tutorial. It's really easy, just a few modifiers and we have this pattern. So this human of course is just a PNG. I just placed it on top in Premiere and the rest is all done in Blender. So let's open up Blender and get on with it. And if you guys create one of uh, these tutorials from my channel, tag me so that I can leave a comment and uh, maybe give some pointers. So I'm gonna select everything with A and delete with X and shift A to create a plane. Our X rotate 90 degrees one in the numpad and scale s and 5 in the numpad and now i'm going to tap into edit mode and right click subdivide and type 30 in the number of cuts and i'm going to add a subdivision service modifier and a displace modifier and now i'm going to make the strength to about 0 0.5 and click this icon over here and go to the textures new and I'm going to select a clouds texture but you guys can select whatever you want from these te uh, these textures or you can upload your own own textures as well so I'm going to right click and shade smooth we can play with the scale of this or anything so for the first one I'm just gonna make it hard and I'm gonna add another subdivision surface modifier below the displacement modifier uh, maybe increase the strength in the viewport we don't have to so just make it two in the render and now we are going to animate it so i'm going to create an empty and i'm going to go to the top view with seven create a curve circle scale it up a bit select the empty g y place it on top of our busy circle and shift select busy circle control p and follow path and i'm gonna make our end keyframes 400 and go to edit preferences in animation i'm gonna change the default interpolation to linear and now I'm gonna select this and in the texture coordinates select object and select the object empty and now you guys can see the pattern looks a bit weird right now but we're gonna change it so uh, for now as of now the animation runs only to about 100 frames so i'm gonna select the curve go to the path animation tab and make it 400 because we have 400 frames so you guys can see still it looks weird but now i'm going to play with the scale of our texture and make it a little bit up, a little bit more interesting go to textures and increase the scale to about 1.9 maybe play with the depth make it zero yeah zero looks good for me so looks pretty cool for me at this point but now i'm going to select the busy circle and go to the first frame and i make it location rotation scale or you can make it just rotation as well so in items you can see it's all zero and go to the last frame 400th frame and make the x or the y rotation 360 and in right click and insert a keyframe now i'm going to render only 399 frames so we have a repeating loop all right guys so this is our animation so you guys can take change the texture and animate this according to what you want and get different results as well so 
for an instance one of my, in my instagram you guys can see one uh, of those animations with a s cell noise pattern like this so guys can get different all sorts of different looks with these as well so yeah just have to change the noise basis and you'll get different patterns or if not you can just ch change uh it magic or wood patterns we have all sorts of different patterns in the viewport uh in the settings display settings so i'm just gonna leave it to cloud and blend original so now i'm gonna create our frame from sides it's just a cube and scale it 5.1 and now I'm going to press 3 or select this and select the face and E to extrude scale it down a bit and E again and left click G Y push it back or we can delete it with X before deleting just push it back with more and then delete the faces if you want you can delete it or just leave it uh, and now I'm going to all select the faces and shift D to duplicate these faces and scale it a tiny bit and P to make it a separate object and SY I'm going to select that object and SY make it a little smaller in the Y axis and I'm going to add the emission shader it and leave the strength as it is now I'm going to select I'm going to create a plane RX 90 scale 10 and move it back GY now I'm going to do the lighting as well so this looks too big for now let's get it down back down in the Y axis GY push it back a bit. GY push this back as well. And scale this plane a little bit more. Now I'm gonna add my camera with Shift A camera. Control Alt 0 and G Y. And from the mouse I'm gonna scale I'll move my camera to the front a bit. And now I'm going to do the lighting. So we are going to shading view. And I'm going to make the world settings black and add uh, area lamp. Scale S10. And rotate it 45. Uh, before rotating, go to all the adjustments. The settings, make it 500. And go to the top. Shift D, duplicate it and ry90 rotate it and move it side select both lights and move it to the front as well now i'm going to rotate the first area lamp we created to about 45 degrees in the x-axis rx45 there you go i might add another point lamp and put to a side over here gy and bring to the front make it 500 as well and now i'm going to add a material to this i'm going to make it a glossy material decrease the roughness to about 0 0.1 and there we have it guys so i'm going to select all these shadows and maybe decrease the world light a bit a little like that if you go to cycles we have this cool pattern so to animate the texture you guys saw in the start of this video we just create a basic uh, material setup 
So I'll just show, walk you through this. Uh, I've added a Vernoy texture, a color ramp, and a mix shader, and added two principal BSD shaders, plugged it into the mix shader, and uh, plugged the color ramp into the vector, and Vernoy texture along with a Musgrave set texture, and a mapping node, and the texture coordinates plug the object into the vector, and in object, select the empty that we created to animate the motion of the displacement modifier so select the same empty and we have this effect the texture is also animating so i have a bunch of videos in my youtube channel so you guys can check them out as well and i've planned a lot of videos to this channel so subscribe to get those in the future and um yeah hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and make sure you guys leave a comment and let me know what kind of tutorials you guys like and um, yeah i'm hoping to do a lot with this channel so thank you guys see you in the next one